Do you want to learn how to make an interactive presentations or handouts like this? Good day teachers! I'm Teacher Justin and welcome back to another EdTech video tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you how to create an interactive presentation using Microsoft Swayze. So before we proceed to our video tutorial, make sure that you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated whenever I upload new content. So on to our video. First, we go to sway.office.com and sign up or log in. So let's click create. Let us start with typing our title and insert our background. For inserting images, you have the option to either browse on the internet or upload. So what I did, I decided to browse for my background. So I picked this design for my background. So I'm going to just click add. And so let us have a preview of our presentation by clicking the design button on the upper left side corner. So to go back to your workstation, just click the storyline button. Now let's add our content. To add your content, click the plus button and pick the type of content that you want to add. So let us try to insert images by uploading from our device. So we go to suggested, then click my device, click the image that you want. So click the image that you want to add and voila! Here you have the option to pick the size of the image based on how it will be presented in your presentation. So we have small, medium, and large option. Next, let us try to upload two images and explore the group features of Microsoft Swayze. Let's say we want to compare the two images. Let's click the plus button and add the images that we want. Select the two images that we want to group. Then we click. Yeah. If you want to choose the size, so if you want to choose how the images will be presented, let's click the group type button. Here you can select different ways on how to present your group images. Yeah. So we have automatic, we have stack, grid, slideshows, and comparison. So since we want to compare two images, we will select comparison. So this is what it looks like. We have polygon or polygons and we have non-polygon. Now let's try to add text in our presentation. So let's click the add button again and select text. Here we will place the definition of the word polygon or polygons. Now after setting our text, let's try adding our formative assessments. So here in MS Ways, we can formative assessments or quizzes in our presentations. What if we want to add our formative assessment or a practice exercise? So let's add our formative assessment in our presentation. So click the plus button and select embed. Now we go to our Microsoft Forms. We go to the assessment that we created in Microsoft Forms. So if you want to learn how to create a formative assessment or summative assessment using Microsoft Forms, please do check this video in my channel. Ayan. Back to our video. In our Microsoft Forms, we click share and copy the code of the assessment that we will use. Then go back to Microsoft Space and paste the code in our storyline. 
Here you can adjust the size on how it will be presented. Again, we have small, medium, and large. So by clicking the design button, this is what it looks like. Now, let's add a gallery of images. So to do that, click the Add button and select images that we will use. Click the Group Type button and select Stacks for the flashcard effect. So next, yeah. so this is what it looks like if we're going to click stacks. Yeah. Okay, now what if we want to add a video in our presentation? Now let's click the add button and select images. So let's click video. If you can observe, Sway can um, give you or suggest videos about your topic. All the suggested videos will be about polygons. You can browse or you can upload your new videos or your own video. Click the video that you want and then click add. If you want to rearrange your storyline, just drag it and place it wherever you want. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Now if you're done with your storyline, you click the style button on the upper right side corner. So here you can choose a style of your presentation. It can be vertical, horizontal, or slide. So if you click vertical, this is what it looks like. If you're going to click horizontal, this is what it looks like. And if you click slide, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So after choosing the style of your presentation, you can also choose the theme of your presentations. They have a variety of themes to choose from so if you're done setting up your presentation you can click share copy the link and share it to your students or send it to your students also here in Microsoft Sway there are different templates to choose from also you have you can also check out other works and styles of other content creators here in the Get Inspired By lesson. Ayan. Here is another example of what I did while trying Microsoft Sways. So this is a little tribute to, uh, to my favorite basketball player, Kobe Bryant. So for my review of this site or this application, for me, it is very convenient to use. It is user-friendly. Um, you don't ha need to be a good layout artist to design your work. Automatic na siya generate ng kanyang, kanyang layout. You can just choose what theme that you want and what type of style that you're going to present it with. Another thing is you can also upload PowerPoint presentation, Excel file, um, Word file here in Microsoft Space. This is not just for teachers only. You can ask your students to create their work or their performance tasks here in this site. So, as a teacher, I prefer paperless performance tasks for me to avoid um, a pile or piles of checkables in my table. So, I'm just going to check it using my phone. You can access it using your phone or you using your laptop or desktop or if you want to view my outputs as ways I will leave the link in the description box down below I hope you learned a lot today in my video tutorial if you like this video give it thumbs up 
comment your questions, suggestions, recommendations in our comment section down below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more edtech videos like this, please do not forget to check out my channel, Teacher Justin. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you in my next video. Peace. Thank you for watching my video. I'm again. I'm Teacher Justin. If you like this com, if you like this comment, subscribe. Oh my God, my lip.